So this is an interesting one. This is kind of another hypothetical. Will blacklisting create more scarcity and or create a black market for Bitcoin? I said that it would create a, a black market for Bitcoin. It also does, does create a scarcity of green coins or not blacklisted coins versus blacklisted coins. Uh, I don't know if that'll really matter. Uh, P, I don't know if you want to touch on this. Like the incentives are so strong though that like I know when Marathon, they tried to implement OFAC compliant blocks. They tested this out, I believe back in end of last year or early this year. And uh, then there was a block that came in from Iran and they literally put an op return saying like something in, uh, I forget what it was, some in Iranian, but it was basically saying like, you know, oh, I'm glad that the Iranians included the block or included this transaction in the block. Um, so the incentives are strong enough that normally it can stop things like this. But PQ, anything of your thoughts? I mean, I think the, the thing you just referenced, Marathon famously tried to do this and then it backfired spectacularly and then they basically had to roll it all back. Um, I think that there is there are aspects of this that we need to uh, track on. I think there is an idea that governments might try to co-opt uh, Bitcoin by incentivizing mining entities outside of like the Bitcoin blockchain, basically paying them, you know, to enforce things like OFAC compliant lists. Um, I think that realistically, because Bitcoin is so decentralized, um, or rather because Bitcoin is decentralized and it still needs to be even more decentralized, um, I think it is very difficult at this point for governments to coordinate in this way and try to have this kind of effect. So I don't actually think that it is practical as of yet. And I think that Stratum V2, which is something that um, people are working on, which will even which will further decentralize the uh, the, the, the basically the uh, template selection in for mining pools. So individual miners who are participating in larger pools will be able to decide which uh, which transactions they are you know contributing to and which are which they're not. That's a vast oversimplification, but um, in short, I don't think that it's that it's something that uh, will happen as long as people still uh, continue to fight against that with things like Stratum V2. And, uh, you know, I'm optimistic, I guess.